UK National Circuit Race Championship highlights. Here we go. Right, this is just a neutralised lap. Got the normal teams, Wiggins, Madison, Genesis, Richardson, Trek, there, Canyon DHB, um, Vitus Pro Cycling. Um, go around the track. First things first, very steep climb, very narrow. Lots of people just sort of getting pretty much to a standstill on this climb. So this is the main feature, climb, then it sort of goes a lot of technical corners as well. These people who've won it, a lot of World Tour riders, or uh, people who did ride in the World Tour, pick up as well. I mean, there's just absolutely class bike riders. Um, so yeah, it's always a hard one to win, always very well fought for, and always an exciting race to watch. Um, so anyway, as you can see here, just cruising round, neutralized lap, pretty sketchy. You'll see the guys who know how to ride in a bunch. you see the guys who don't, because the guys who know how to ride in a bunch will start near the front and near the sort of middle and then just get them way to the front. The other guys will start at the front and get bumped out the way and um, you'll be able to see who knows how to ride. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty exciting race. Pretty up for um, a good commentary on this one. Uh, a lot of unexpected names um, sort of didn't turn up. Tom Pickock didn't turn up. Matt Gibson, who won it last year, didn't turn up. So, you know, who's the favourite, in my opinion? has to be Matt Bostock, he's won every single elite national circuit um, series so far, um, 5 out of 5, which is quite ridiculous, so he's the favourite, he's got a very strong team, Alexander Richardson there, and a couple, um, Andy Tennant, so yeah, he's got a lot of lot of strong riders around him, so realistically, he should be winning this race if he plays the right, obviously Madison Genesis have Ian Bibby and, and Johnny McAvoy, who are also very solid, um, but yeah, there's a lot of strong guys here, um, a couple individual riders as well, but you know, it's always hard when you're on your own. And also Graham Biggs and John Mould for Vitus Pro Cycling as well. Gabs Galeg there for Wiggins. A lot of big names, a lot of big names. Um, who, you know, are solid crit riders. And um, if you ever watch the Tour Series, you'll see. So again, another really sharp corner. This race is punctuated by lots of sharp corners. Um, very technical circuit, hilly. Everything that we love to see in a circuit race, to be honest. Um, not these boring four corner crits you see in America, proper actual circuit race. So here we go, everyone's sprinting for the corner and uh, the race is underway. Uh, pretty exciting first lap, first couple laps, everyone's just being like, right, the women's race split to absolute pieces. I think everyone saw them was like, right, it's just going to split to pieces. Get to the front, stay at the front and um, you'll probably be in a good position. So you can already see if you're at the back here, like those yellow guys, um, that I think he rides for Union Manchester, that guy in last place. Nah, cheerio. You're going to get spat. There's no way. Um, you're going to survive. You're going to get lapped as well because, to be honest, um, the pace is just so quick and there's going to be gaps absolutely everywhere. It's pretty much full gas from the gun and uh, pretty technical. See the railing corners going around here. And um, early on, Isaac Mundy just got, went to the front, just drilled it. He was looking strong. He used to ride for... Um, Swift Pro Carbon, but then changed teams to Richardson Trek halfway through the season. Um, he's got podium in the National Hill Climb Championships and um, is very solid, um, very, very solid road racer. And crit racer, he's done well in Belgium before as well. So definitely a favourite, um, but hadn't really done any elite crit series. So it's hard to tell what his form was like. He's pushing on early on, creating some gaps. Uh, and everyone looks pretty strong. Everyone's just following the wheel. Um, but he goes again here. And Madison sort of just be like, well, you can go. And uh, they don't really chase. He sort of just rolls off the front, pretty much. Um, he's, he used to race four cross, I believe, like in the World Cups and stuff. So he's a very technical bike. Like, his bike handling skills is unbelievable. But having said that, I mean, all these guys at the top, their bike um, handling skills are top, top, top. Uh, but, yeah, you can see here, they were like, what do we do? Do we chase him down? No one really knows. Johnny McAvoy's on the front now for Madison Genesis. Um, and he's trying to chase them down and then up this climb really gives it the beans and this is where he gets the gap and suddenly everyone's like 36 minutes he's not going to ride solo surely we'll let him go and chase him back but in reality that doesn't happen um, and Joey Walker managed to get across unfortunately we didn't actually get to see what Joey Walker did to get across there are no cameras on the main group but this now is really bad news for Canyon DHB they're on the back foot there's two guys out front Madison are well represented Vitus lost Ali Slater to a mechanical and um, you can see here I think it's young Callum McLeod's on the front drilling it trying to get it back but let's be honest he's never going to do it against two really strong guys one um, one person is just impossible um, yeah zero chance they're getting it back 
So uh, we zoomed the last couple laps because literally nothing happened. They just kept riding. Uh, Manson eventually went to the front and just slowed the pace down. And uh, that was it. So last one lap to go. Joey Walker's playing as a team. Oh, I've got my team behind. Obviously, Isaac Mundy's got, I don't know, anyone in the main group. Uh, so he's pretty much on his own. And uh, Joey Walker is a very solid sprinter as well. He's got some good results recently. So, you know, it was going to be a hard one. But it's such a technical bit corner. It's such a technical finale. You want to leave from the front. But that corner was probably 150 metres to go. You want to probably be going through that first wheel and then just holding off from the front. Um, so you can see here Isaac Mundy sort of sprints out of this corner sits up a little bit um, and then realizes actually nah let's keep going so he goes again and he really just tries to make sure that he is the, he's in the front in these last couple technical corners uh, I think that was probably a good tactic to be honest because it meant that he had so much more speed going through the corners um, than Joey Walker and it's just hard to come around someone in such a short amount of time because from that last corner it's really just not far at all um, and again through this corner he's really laying the pressure on out of every corner Joey Walker will have to do like a couple more um, pedal strokes to get on his wheel. It's really just tiring him out. Because it's, yeah, it's just so technical, you're not getting much draft. Here you can see there's a decent gap, maybe one bike length um, around this corner. It's just behind him. And then he gives, his back wheel skids out, absolutely giving it the beans, going absolute full gas. And then disaster, right foot unclips, Joey Walker takes it in the end. Very, very good race, really enjoyable to watch. Um, and yeah. That was it. Matt Bostock comes in for third. Um, he managed to just edge out Gabs Calais. Um, but yeah, it was a disappointing day for Canyon and Wiggins, I guess. Canyon had a strong team, but obviously not as strong as Madison Genesis. And uh, yeah, the big man himself, Isaac Mundy, must be pretty disappointed that he didn't have some nice pedals on because I think he probably would have won it. But he was very gracious in his interview and it was just like, you know, fair enough. Wouldn't have mind get rolled by him, but it's just disappointing the way it was. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one.